Huge AFC South matchup taking place on Monday night. The Houston Texans are going to play host to the Tennessee Titans. The Titans team coming off just an embarrassing loss uh, the previous week. This will be a fun one to watch. I'm Daniel Jeremiah. He's Bucky Brooks. And, Buck, when we're looking at matchups in this game, I think let's go with the young corner and Adoree Jackson. And what do you say the uh, the quarterback? Deshaun Watson. Yeah, I think Deshaun Watson is going to go after Dory Jackson, particularly after Dory Jackson struggled against the Indianapolis Colts. He has the bullseye on his chest this week. Yeah, well, let's uh, show some examples of what we're talking about. We always talk about where's Waldo on the Move to Six podcast, trying to find somebody you can attack defensively. And boy, Frank Reich and Andrew Luck, they decided they wanted to go at Dory Jackson with T.Y. Hilton. Watch him turn him inside out on a corner route. You don't get any hands on receiver at the line of scrimmage, you give him a free release. This is kind of what you're going to get. You're going to see it again here uh, working on T.Y. Watch him off the line of scrimmage. Just just not enough. Look at that separation, creating three yards of separation on that out cut. That's pitch and catch easy all day long, and now you're going to see the home run ball here. They're going to go max protection, going to influence the safety with a little play action, and that is nothing but green, green turf, not grass, turf, uh, but a lot of real estate to work with here for Andrew Luck and T.Y. Hilton. Uh, that's not fair. Uh, he just runs away from one of the more athletic corners in the NFL. So, Adoree Jackson coming off last week, you can bet he will be targeted early and often in this one. Oh, he absolutely will be targeted. And the thing about the Houston Texans, they have the right quarterback to be able to do it. Deshaun Watson is an explosive playmaker. He can attack the defense in a variety of ways, not only as a playmaker from the pocket where he can run, but also finding his weapons down the field. Here we see a little fake little bubble screen floating it out, trying to put a little cheese out there for the re- to defensive backs, Ooh, that was a and scene. then he delivers a dart right over here of the cornerback. Josh Norman can't get the pick, but it's also his ability to continue to create and make plays. What I loved about him at Clemson was his ability to break the pocket. Sometimes he can make plays with his arm, but it's also his ability to make plays with his feet. He extends plays. He puts a lot of pressure on your defense. They have to play longer than normal. Once again, empty formation. Deshaun Watson sitting at the top of the pocket. He is just sitting there waiting. Gets it out. To his playmakers, he is a patient quarterback, rarely gets into the bad decisions, and it's one of the why, reasons why the Houston Texans have reeled off seven straight games. Is it going to be eight? What do you think? Yeah, I think this is eight. I think this is another win for the Texans. I like the way they're playing. I just believe they got their confidence. They found their identity. This is a team that is on the roll. I would not want to face this team as they head into the playoffs. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give them their eighth win uh, as well. I like the Texans to get this done in a big divisional game. Man, the Titans have got to find a way to get this done. I just don't think they have enough firepower to hang with Deshaun Watson and company. Click here to subscribe to the NFL YouTube channel and, and click here to subscribe to the Move the Sticks podcast.